Headache disorders are the seventh ranking cause of all disability globally. The economic cost to the U.S. annually is $31 billion, exceeding the annual cost of epilepsy, asthma, and ovarian cancer combined. When you get a headache, you go to the drugstore for treatment. When I get a headache, I go to the halls of Congress. My name is Lee Markins, and I have suffered from cluster headaches my entire life. Cluster headaches are not headaches in the conventional sense. They originate deep in the brain and travel through the face along the trigeminal nerve, radiating pain to the temple, forehead, teeth, neck, jaw, and nose. A cluster headache feels much like what I would term a brain freeze from eating ice cream way too fast, but you multiply that feeling by, oh, I don't know, 25 to 50. Dr. Peter Goadsby, professor of clinical neurology at University College London, has described cluster headaches as the worst pain that humans experience. He's compared it to giving childbirth or having a limb amputated without anesthesia. It would be like taking a pair of ice grips and clamping them on the gums above my teeth as hard as I possibly could, and then taking my little finished nail gun and shooting nails through my cheek. Never heard of cluster headaches? Well, you're not alone. Cluster headaches affect nearly one in 1,000 people, and a majority of patients have no idea what they're suffering from. They often go undiagnosed or misdiagnosed for years. The National Institute of Health allocates very little money for the research towards finding the cause of cluster headaches and development of possible treatments. In fact, less than $2 million has been spent in the past 25 years. Yet cluster headaches are just as prevalent as multiple sclerosis. For the last several years, a group of us from Cluster Busters, a nonprofit organization, have traveled to Washington, D.C. to participate in Headache on the Hill. The progress we are making is incredible. Last year, a group of 19 cluster headache patient advocates, along with some of the top neurologists in the country, went to Congress and were able to convince the Senate Finance Committee to increase funding from the Department of Defense Research Medical Budget from $50 million to $200 million. Can you imagine how much more of an impact we can have if a thousand concerned doctors, loved ones, patients, and advocacy leaders marched on the Capitol building? This year, Cluster Busters is offering travel scholarships to assist interested advocates who wish to participate in Headache on the Hill but cannot afford it. Wonderful supporters like you fund these scholarships. If you cannot attend Headache on the Hill this year to share your story, consider donating to Cluster Buster so someone else can. Donating is easy. Just follow these four simple steps. Step one, follow this URL to Cluster Buster's causes page. Step two, click the green donate button at the bottom of the page. Step three, choose your donation amount and fill in your credit card information. Step four, click make your donation. By contributing to our fundraiser, you've become a wonderful part of a new global statistic, one that recognizes our advocacy efforts. Please donate today. If you think you or someone you know may be suffering from cluster headaches, please visit our website at www.clusterbusters.org for more information.